Hi guys, Rob here from Decoded. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can combine two different normal maps into one material. So we have a pretty simple material here. It's just this tile texture and I've got the diffuse and the roughness already plugged in. And off to the side here, we have two different normal maps. We have the normal map for the tiles and we have this other random little shape normal map. And I want to combine these both together so we can have the tiles and these cut out sections at the same time. Okay, so what we're going to do to get that effect is we're going to add in some nodes here. We're going to start with a separate RGB node and we're going to copy and paste that with Control C and then Control V and connect both of those up. Make sure both your normal image map nodes are set to non color data over here connect those both up to the separate RGB nodes. What that does is it separates each one of these into their respective color channels, red, green, and blue, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a mix RGB shader. We're gonna set this to add. We're gonna copy and paste this two times. Okay, and we're gonna take the red channel from both and connect them to the color slots. We're going to take the green channel and connect them to this add shader here. And then we're going to take the blue and you guessed it, we're going to connect that up to this one. So what that's done is it's separated them into their color channels and then it's combined the reds into this node, the greens into this node, and the blues into this node over here. So now we need to recombine that data together. So we have a node to do that. If you search for combine RGB, we're gonna take the red into the red, green into the green, and the blue into the blue. Take a look at that. They're now both together at the same time and they're combined. But the problem we have is the, the normal map have both of them have a different value range, which means that one of them is much stronger than the other one. To correct this problem, what we can do is we can add in, if we search for a vector math node, it has a function called normalize. So we're just gonna connect this combined RGB to the top slot of vector. And if we have a look at that, you can see that the effect of the tiles is now a bit stronger compared to what it was in the other one. And the last node we obviously have to add is a normal map, which we're then just going to plug into the normal slot as we normally would and take a look at this. And there's both of your maps combined. Now, obviously they aren't very strong at the moment. So we're just going to try bumping this up to say, I don't know, three on the normal map strength. And there we go. We have both normal map textures coming through at the same time. Um, this is something that puzzled me for quite a long time. There's, it's quite often I'll have like a, like a metal texture for scratches and things like that. And you want to add in your own decals or something. And I, I could never figure out how to do it. I've recently got this technique sorted out and it's been a lifesaver for me. If you have any suggestions about how to make this better, please post it in the comments. I would love to see any work you've, you've made using this. And if you'd like to see any more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. Um, it helps the channel out, helps this grow. I'll be making more videos like this every week.